action-packed fun call. So I'm going to get us started. So welcome, you guys, Monday night. I'm so excited to have you all on. I just, I seriously love seeing your pretty faces on Monday nights. It like makes my week, just kicks off my week with the best, the best way. And if I don't see your faces, at least I see your names and that gives me a smile too. So um, super pumped to have you all here. We have, we just had an amazing week, you guys, just an amazing week from business standpoint first. Um, I literally just need to shout out all of the rank advancements because you guys, there were 19 rank advancements, <laughs> which is so exciting. And so I'm going to start with the 15 consultants. I just love, I, you guys like consultant is where every single person on this call started. I mean, we all started at associate and we all started by finding our first two because we love the products. So finding two people who love the products and want the products. I mean, sharing products that you love. That's truly what consultants is about. And these people capitalized on the $150 extra fast start consultant bonus. A lot of them, at least, if they were newer. So Abigail Navarez, Catherine Amenda, Jacqueline Hiley, Lindsay Creepy, Amy Grussing, I apologize if I'm saying these, Sharice Powell, Katie Unferth, Addie Ferguson, I know some of these names are on, Jennifer Nolden, Adam Roach, Tracy Treichler, Laura Cuby, Caitlin Johnson, Jennifer Eide, and Jessica Lunkin, Luckin, Luckin, all new consultants. So super proud of you guys. That's amazing, amazing work. And then we have two brand new, you guys, Crystal Executives from the week. And this is huge. This is the top level of leadership as far as growing your team, the you share, they share, repeat, and doing that to the point of having at least 10 consultants um, within your organization, five on your left, five on your right, that you personally enrolled. And it truly represents helping other people get paid. Um, it creates a foundation for such a strong organization because, you know, you could go and just enroll all the people, but to get other people paid and to really have that heart of service toward the business opportunity as well and business or just covering cost of products, whatever they choose. Like it's just an amazing thing. And stepping into that leadership, I've seen so much of it from um, the two of you that hit it. So just out, just um, chronologically. So Ashley Lubes hit it first. Yay, Ashley. And it was so fun um, to watch you do this. Seriously. I know, I know how the run is and we, you know, I was with Rebecca and Barbie in Phoenix, in the Phoenix area. And so just, you know, just hearing the conversations and the coaching and the, and your like commitment to it is just amazing. So I just want to like shout you out so much for that because it's such a huge accomplishment in your business and we're so proud of you for it. So, and along with that, the, the $2,000 bonus, right? Like who wouldn't want that? And then, um, the other one, so Becca Kruger also hit it yesterday, you guys. And when I checked my um, back office last night, she had 12 consultants. She didn't like just do it, she like slid past it. So, because I know she had so many sip and samples within her team this past week. What did you, what did, was it, how many people, 17 people got started on your team or something? Do you wanna tell us? It's yeah, on, I think, uh, I think yeah. the final count was 17, I think. Yeah. yeah. You did, your team did. Team, team, your total. team. So 17 new people got started in her organization this past week, which is just incredible. And that is how, like, that's the whole point of like getting the plane off the ground, you know? And like, when they talk about getting the plane off the ground, like you can share, 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 and then have these bursts of energy. And I'm just so proud of you, both of you, both of you have such, you come from different backgrounds, you have different stories. Um, you came for different things. You both love the products. You've been doing it for different amounts of time. And that's the beauty of it. Just really taking and making that decision and running for it. So yay for that. And then really we're going to spend, so, um, if you saw, um, so Amanda Spenson had her executive retreat this weekend in, um, Scottsdale and we spent some time there and we had, um, there were five of us that went down. So pretty fun to have that, um, you know, good large chunk of the room of people who were there, which was super fun, um, within this team. And there were, we had three who it was their very first executive retreat. Um, and so I just would love for those three specifically, I asked them to share, this isn't, I'm not covering this call. It's me, mo mostly them. They're each going to share, you know, about seven, eight minutes of, um, what they would love their biggest takeaways. So I'll have, um, 
Chelsea, you go ahead and get started. And then we'll pass it to Rebecca after that and then to Holly after that so that you guys can really learn from them. And the reason I want to do this too, just real quick, our team's executive retreat, this team, the Matthews downline team executive retreat is September 20th to 22nd. And we have a place here. It's in Minnesota on a lake with a boat that we can use. And, and I mean, it's not just about that. We, I mean, I take these things very seriously. We're going to make sure to have just an awesome, awesome weekend of community and bonding and learning and training and value, value, value. So um, just think about that as you're hearing what they say and think about, gosh, could I really work to get there because it's so worth it. So go ahead, Charles. Thanks, Allison. Um, so this weekend was amazing and I'm just going to jump right into it because I know we've probably got lots to talk about, but I'm going to just say that there were so many things to take away th um, this weekend that the few things that all three of us cover is not even going to do it justice because it was so amazing. So everyone keep working your tails off because it is so worth it to get to those exec retreats and have some really exclusive trainings. And we're so happy to share with you guys today. So um, we had a chance to meet with Kathy Coover right away on Friday to kind of kickstart our weekend. And um, being able to dive deep in with her and ask her some questions was really beneficial. And one of the things that really stuck with me from the time we spent from, from her was you need five. And what she means by that is, well, we know that we need, you know, to hit consultant and then a manager, director, executive. And that's like, you know, executive is 10 people who are consultants. So 10 people with two people. And we all want to hit executive and that's the goal. But um, to keep pushing farther to create a long lasting income and footprint with a, this legacy company, you need five people to run with. So you don't need everyone in your organization to be a business builder. Only 10 to 15% of people in this um, organization will choose to build. We have happy product users, we have happy product sharers, but there's only a small percentage of people who will choose to build. And you guys, you need five. And that doesn't necessarily have to be five of your personally enrolled. Um, I think it was, it was we also uh, talked about you need like three executives on one side and five directors on the other to like have you stable. And that is not, once again, that's not your personally enrolled. That is everyone in your downline. That is, you know, you enroll someone who enrolls someone who enrolls their cousin who blows it up. You know, it doesn't have to be people that you personally enroll. So that, that was like huge for me because I think we all get in our heads like, oh, I need to make everyone be a business builder or consistent product share. And we always want those product shares. We want to stay um, everyone uh, with consultant to stay at um, executive, but you only need five people to run with. So find those five people and run and run hard. So find the people that are looking for this business, find the people that are wanting to dream big with you and go with them. They don't have to be your personally enrolled. You can dig down deeper in your tree and find out who they are too. And if they are motivated and ready, just go with them. So five people, you guys, five. I mean, you want your, you want to hit um, executive. So just keep in mind, you want your 10 that have two, but you need five people that have the burning desire to want more out of life. So that was super huge. And to come from Kathy Coover, I mean, that was like incredible to hear. Um, and she built her business from the ground up too. She started as an associate like all of us did. Um, the other thing that really stuck with me from the meeting with her was the uh, integrity of this company. Um, the way we could ask questions and the way that she answered them and the posture that she had. I mean, if you have any doubt in this company and if I had any doubt in this company, it was like squashed with this meeting because she truly, truly cares about the company. But more than that, she cares about the people in this company. And she will tell you all the time, it's not business, it's personal. These are people's lives that we're dealing with. Yes, we have great products that change, change people's lives. Yes, we have a great financial opportunity that can also change people's lives. And she is so, so incredibly passionate about that. And to just hear the conviction in her voice and to know how firmly she stands behind this company, you guys, is incredible. We see her up on stage um, at all the events that we go to, but a lot of times she's reading off a teleprompter, you know? when you get her in a room and you talk to her, like the first thing she did was show us a picture of her grandbaby and say how much she loved blueberries and they were trying to find organic blueberries in England. I mean, she is a down to earth, regular human being who just cares about others. So when you 
you know, if those doubts about the company or things creep into your mind, just know that you have the best products, the best company and owners who really, really stand behind them. So that just meant a lot to me. And, um, we did a call with Jessica, um, Richter. And she said, it's not a smoke and mirrors company. It's not like other companies that, Oh, look at this, look at this car, look at the compensation. When a lot of times people really aren't doing that well. And with isogenics, like you, you get the bonuses, you get the compensation. There's a ton of community. So it's not a smoke and mirrors company. It is the real deal. So that was like another huge thing. Um, I could go on forever about the stuff that Kathy said, because it was just golden. But one other thing, um, before I pass it off to Holly here, it, or um, Rebecca, is that um, we did a, a training call with Allison kind of in closing. And she, I've heard about this guy, Gary V before, Blanachek, is that what it is? I've heard about him because Chris Harder did a podcast about him. And um, uh, he's this, uh, super brash entrepreneurial type. If you don't like swear words, don't listen to him. And, uh, Allison played a movie from him. And one of the huge things that, that just stood out, it was gratitude is so much greater than money or compensation. And so it's your perspective that really matters in this world. And if it's like money, 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 and that's all you want and that's all you think about, and you don't think about the build of this business and the um, support of the product or the product support and everything we have, if that's like the mindset that you have, like you may not be as successful in this business because this business is about helping others and being grateful and having gratitudes and, you know, passing that along to your team. Um, and so it's not about the quick high that you get. Do we love the bonuses and isogenics? Yeah, of course. They have it there to keep us going and get us started. But it is about the long haul. It is about what we can do for others in this business. So it is about gratitude, which is so much greater than, you know, with the quick fixes, the quick monies that people are getting with these other um, network marketing companies. So those were just like the huge, really things that like screamed out in my mind that I put big old stars besides that I just wanted to share with you tonight. So I will go ahead and pass it along to Holly or not Holly. I keep saying Holly, <laughs> Rebecca now. <laughs> you don't mean Rachel, Chelsea? No, I don't mean Rachel. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> That's funny. Hi everyone. Um, yeah, it was an amazing week and I'm going to jump into it too because the clock is ticking and I will babble. So I'm going to stay focused, but yeah, we got to meet with Kathy Coover and I couldn't reiterate more what Chelsea said. I, I tend to, um, really value authenticity. I'm sure a lot of us do. So there have been times at times where I'm just like, you can, when at events where I was like, I just don't know, but getting in the room with Kathy and asking her questions and hearing her voice and her genuineness and it was amazing. My belief meter was like, woo, through the roof. So it was just amazing. And the fact that we could just, we were asking any and every question that there is, and she was graciously answering us and having a very open communication with us. So it was definitely like a conversation. It was wonderful. So and then when I walked into the building, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. This is gorgeous and amazing. And yeah, just everyone there was gracious and welcoming. And like they kept saying, welcome to, welcome home. That's what they said. Welcome home. Like when you walk in and that's, that's incredible. I could cry. I'm not going to, but it was awesome. So um, yeah, one thing that was really helpful for me that Kathy said was she talked about her net, her build in other companies. And then um, she also talked about how not everyone is a business builder. So you qualify people who come into your organization or people that you share isogenics with. So you're going to have people who just are happy product users and you need them. And that's awesome. Like they're amazing. Check out, check in with them, keep up to date with them. They may start as a happy product user, but that doesn't mean that they will always be that. They may at some point want to share. Then there's going to be like the casual share, someone who comes in and is like, yeah, I would like to know how to get my products like at least partially paid for or paid for. So I have a couple friends, so they come in. So that's that. And then there's the business builder, but they're, everyone's not always in every category and every, so when they come in, she said, put them in buckets so that you know where to spend your time. And I thought that was super helpful because sometimes I get overwhelmed with, you know, how, where, where to be spending my time and even just how to get started, like how to get the wheel moving. And I think a lot of it is just asking the questions um, when you're enrolling people. 
like just asking them, what are your goals? What is your vision? You know, what are your dreams? And then you can kind of quickly qualify where they go. Um, and so you just know how to best serve them no matter where they are because they're all valuable and you need every, every one of them. So that was just super helpful to me. And she also mentioned, which really hit home, and I actually wrote it. We wrote her little thank you notes, and I said it in my thank you note. It was so timely. We asked her about her build and about her family life and, like, just how she – I mean, how do, you, how do you schedule network marketing, like, business hours when it's network marketing and it feels like all the time or you're on your phone or you never sleep or <laughs> you're running for a goal? And she was super sweet. She just said, you know, I – set time restraints and limits and I had time for Eric like her son and I had time with my husband and I had quote unquote business hours um but I set those and she stuck to them and it and it allowed her son even to value what she was doing with isogenics even more and I just that was super timely for me personally but I think it's a good reminder for all of us because no matter if you're working with one person you've enrolled or 400 people you've enrolled your time is still valuable and you want to make sure that you are prioritizing. She said, prioritize your family. And I, again, more props to her and just, yeah, it was really super great. And then the other thing that she shared that again was super helpful was just get out there and go belly to belly. She talked about when she first started building her network marketing company prior and they didn't have cell phones and she was like using a pay phone on a corner and like walking up and down the street. And, um, I thought that was so awesome because that's true. People want to hear our voices. People want to connect with us. A lot of things can be done with social media and behind a computer screen. That's true. But when people hear our conviction and commitment to these products and to this company, that's when things start to change and momentum picks up. Um, but again, like she said, she got plenty of no's. But if she would have stopped at the first 5, 10, 20, 100 no's, she wouldn't be where she is today. And she wouldn't have with any of those organizations. So I think a lot of that was really helpful too because you look at Kathy Coover and her success and you're like, who said no to her? Like, oh my gosh. But they did and there were plenty of people who did. And so it's just, it was just encouraging, I think, and it should be encouraging to all of us. You know, we all go through the ranks. Um, it's just staying diligent and staying committed and not letting, as everyone has heard so many times, don't let the highs get too high and the lows get too low. Just stay on the playing field. And that kind of brings me to what Allison ended with the retreat on Sunday, um, which was a huge blessing to me. And I've known Allison since I first started with Isogenics. So it was super cool, first of all, to just see yeah, her commitment to all of us and what she put together and allowed us to take away in like a PowerPoint form. I thought I had, I was going to show you. Like notes, upon notes. And that's how much she cares about our business and our organization and um, each one of us. And she would just talk right away just about play infinite or play finite. So you either play a game that has an end, you know, a winner and a loser, or you play infinite. You keep going. You literally it says sometimes you're ahead and sometimes you're behind but you keep going and you realize that you know if you do the right thing there, there's not an end you just keep growing and so i really needed to hear that because a lot of times i do especially this past weekend with a couple of fun runs going on in our organization you get emotional and you you get high highs and you get low lows and it is really important to have that team around you that can just encourage you to stay stay steady, stay where you are, you know, keep moving forward, embrace the lows because you need to fail forward. You will have low lows and that's okay. That's why you have this incredible team around you. And we don't th throw that word team around loosely. And I got that driven home this past weekend as well. Like there were 11 of us women and we're all not financially tied. And most of us aren't, I mean, five of us were, I guess, but, um, the amount of support and teaching that went on in that room and positivity in that house. I mean, we were in a house. I didn't know like half the people I was meeting. It wasn't, you know, it's not like it's super comfortable um, initially, but it took like an hour and a half and we're all sitting around like crying and talking and laughing and sharing highs and lows. And so I will say that if you are looking for a company um, that is based on good, positive 
relationship building, um, uplifting, uh, incredible people, you found the right place. And so I just was, my belief meter again was just through the roof. Very, very thankful um, for an awesome weekend and the opportunity to share a little bit with you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna turn it over to Holly. She's on here, there you go, Holly. Um, thanks ladies. Okay, so I don't know how much more I can add because you guys really just kind of hit the nail on the head on all of that. Um, so I'm just going to try and fill in the gaps. I'm even taking notes. That's the best part that I love about this is Chelsea and Rebecca both talked about some different things that I know I heard, but I know I could not write fast enough to get it all written down. So that's really, really great. Um, the whole thing about Kathy, you guys, I have been a part of other network marketing companies before and people are stuck on a pedestal up here and in Isogenics, they are not. There is no way in any of the other companies by just reaching executive, but one of the top leadership levels in our company that we would have ever had that chance to sit in front of one of the co-founders and CEOs of the company, much less, or I should say reverse, one of the top leaders, much less the co-founder. So that is really ridiculously awesome um, because that's not possible in most other companies. And since I'm talking about other companies, one thing that Jessica um, Regner had talked about in other companies that she has seen or, or experienced before is we have something that is ridiculously amazing compared to other companies as well with that compensation plan, how we have the two legs. Allison might not be really tied to somebody else or know somebody else below me, right? So another company might have all these different levels and you have your people and you are building your people. Nobody else is, right? Or in another company, it only goes down six levels. That seventh person, even though they might reach that top leadership level in the company, they don't interact with that person up here. That person up here does not really have any interest in investing time in that person because that's not building their business. Does that make sense? So with Isogenics, we're all building each other and we can all lift each other up, which I think is absolutely amazing. So if you think that if somebody tries to tell you that another company has a better compensation plan, they are misleading you completely because it is absolutely amazing. Um, one thing that somebody had, I think it was Gretchen Mulder had asked Kathy Coover is, um, what are looking to the future being futuristic? What are some of the biggest challenges we are going to face as a company and how do we prevent or how do we be proactive with that? She did not say comparison with other companies. She did not say up our products. She did not say going into, um, other areas of the market. As far as products go, she talked about getting other places internationally and getting beyond some of the language barriers, the rules, the regulations, because as we all know, that's probably extremely difficult. And Isogenics is doing an amazing job at breaking into a lot of those other markets. Um, Rebecca talked about finite versus infinite, so I'm so glad you touched on that. Since I have limited time, I'm not going to touch on that. But um, Allison, if you wouldn't mind posting uh, the link to that, I think that is just so profound. Um, that was really amazing. And just learning a little bit more about playing to win. So think like a game, there's set rules and playing to win. There's only one winner versus that's finite versus infinite where you're playing to be better than yourself. And it doesn't matter. It's just a hurdle. If you don't win, whatever it is you're trying to go for, if you're going for executive and you didn't hit it yesterday, that's okay. You were still on that run and you are still going to hit it at some point in time. It's not like, Oh, you didn't hit it too bad. You can't do it anymore. It's just a hurdle and it's part of the learning blocks. Um, uh, one thing that Allison talked about also during her PowerPoint, her speech and, and presentation yesterday was find your number. What is it that is your goal currently in three years, in five years that you want to um, hit as far as income? What does that look like? And then build it backwards. Gretchen Heinen has talked about it. Allison's talked about it. A lot of our leaders have. But sit down and take a look at that and then do that with all of your people also sit down and talk to them and say, okay, what is it that you need to do? I know um, Lori Sherman talked about the one, the one reason that she wanted to build and make money for is to have money for her kids preschool. It was $130. So knowing what that is, and you can build backwards and say, this is how many customers you have to have to hit that. 
and it breaks off that, that huge iceberg in front of them. It breaks it off a little by little and it makes it a lot easier for them. Um, Gary V also talked about spending time with uplifting and optimistic people. I think all too often, um, sometimes our families or close friends, they are great. They're there to support you, but they're not going to be those uplifting people who are always going to be pushing you to do a little bit better to reach your goals. And that is what I love about this family that we have with Isogenics is that sisterhood, that brotherhood to be able to lean on each other and say, this is where I'm struggling and having those honest conversations that are, that are really good and beneficial to help us run and hit whatever that goal is. So those are, oh, and then Kathy also, I wrote all these notes down so I could not um, jump off, jump off on a soapbox or so I didn't forget them. Uh, Kathy also said, Rebecca, when you were talking about how do you balance all of that? One thing I remember Kathy also saying is communicate with your family. Tell them what you're going to do and set those parameters so then they can also say, hey, we're going to help you run for that goal too. Maybe it is like a, a trip to Wisconsin Dells. Once we hit this goal, we're going to go to Wisconsin Dells and get the kids involved. And then one thing that um, she said that, that made a ton of sense and that I know I need to focus on is love on your spouse. Like put your spouse first to make sure that they know that they are loved because then they are also going to help support you even more and have a better understanding. So those are, gosh, there was so much this weekend. It's hard to cram it down into just like eight minutes. Yeah. All I can say, all I can say is get to executive, do it, figure it out, talk to somebody who is executive or get an accountability partner so you can run and you can go to these events because I kind of thought, oh, just FOMO, they get to go and have a lot of fun. No, there's so much more than just fun. It's amazing. You can't explain it. Yeah. So good. And I mean, that's just the substance of it. Like that's, I, I love like the substance piece. I love the community too. Like everyone gets something different and everyone's fueled by something different. And just like someone said, pain tolerance is higher in a group. I think that was Heidi. That's such a true statement. Like, you know, and if you're sitting here and you're like, gosh, I want to do it. I just don't know. Maybe like that's the time when you reach out and talk about it and start mapping it out. And really, you know, the point of it is certainly to, you know, have that, that room full of people who have gotten that far, but it's like getting to executive is like one step in the journey. And then there's so much more past that, just a world past that. That's just beautiful and amazing and wonderful. And so to be in a room of like-minded people who have gotten to here, then it's like just really cool to go to that next level. So our vision and, you know, for September, men, women, um, you can bring your spouse. You don't have to, it's totally um, you know, we'll have more details to come on that and, you know, ways to um, RSVP or whatnot. So um, just thank you ladies so much. It's so fun to hear. And it's so fun to watch the others. Like, like I know how I experience it through my eyes, but each person takes something different and experiences it differently through their eyes. So I just absolutely loved um, just hearing from three different people and y'all probably resonated with each of them differently. So it was just a wonderful weekend and um, we're back and we're ready to just get to work and serve more people. So super pumped for what's to come. We still have free enrollment and free shipping this week, you guys. So that's super exciting. So $150 orders, free enrollment, $300 orders, free shipping. Um, so spread the love, spread the love. And we'll see you here next week. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Bye guys.